wasn't what I was going for. No. But welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Batches. I was try to sing through it. Not to be confused with books and batches. Sure. I'm Kristen and with me I have Erica. And Maria. That one Hi. just came to you this morning. I don't think I've ever said batachas. No, I don't no, think you've ever. It almost sounds like batatas, which is like <laughs> <laughs> what is something that? in Spanish? <laughs> Not good. No, it's like a, it's like a food. Oh, what is it? Like batatas. I think it's like. Think of it like a potato, Ugh. but not. I know I would love. Oh, not a potato. It's a potato in a way. Um, not, not, I could be wrong. Not potato. I'm sorry. From... I don't know how to describe it. I'm very bad at describing my culture. What <laughs> time is it right now? 10:56. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. on a Saturday. We're here. We've wasted an hour. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> No. We got here at 10. 10.30. We're here at Royal Fox Studios, ready to record another batch of episodes of batch. just random ass books and a movie. We didn't forget. It's a good one. Stick around. <laughs> but on this episode of Books and Batches, which is a book podcast, and I'm going to tell you right now, we swear we spoil and we talk about sex. If any of those things offend you, if you don't want to be spoiled, get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> this, this beginning is very different. I know. I'm switching uh, it up. Yeah. Uh, do we have any announcements before we get into this? Um, not really. No. Okay. Uh, this week, we're talking about a book that Erica actually recommended to us, I think, a while back. A long while Many back. moons. Okay. No. Um, fuck. I forgot the person who actually recommended it. It was a follower recommendation, okay. which some 50 50 on follower recommendations like i i read i always that's look, how i feel about erica's recommendations no, no, no i feel you. more I feel like you. 20 no I, I feel you i always 15. every single time a follower recommends something i look at the goodreads i look through the reviews i give it a good like thorough situation and then i decide whether i'm going to read it or not it usually stays on my like to be read list for at least like six months and then in my six month cleanup it'll get cycled off sure. six month cleanup <laughs> yeah it's like a closet so <laughs> yeah because i go through it i'm like how did this book get here and i'm like it was probably yeah, somebody recommended yeah, it to me yeah. and I, whatever so this book i was like oh you know what every single book in this series is five stars wow for, for you me. for me oh, oh. but this for you <laughs> the the goodreads like ratings for all of these are above 4.5 yeah they're I pretty think, high for all five of the books wow which i've never seen before so i was like I'm intrigued. Have okay. we mentioned the title yet? No, not yet. Keep going. The Mindfuck series. No, keep going. Okay. <laughs> so, follower recommended this, and I was like, all right, I'll give it a little do si do. And I do took, si <laughs> do. Uh -huh. took it out for a spin You're and cute. took it out for a spin. Was obsessed with this series, recommended it on the stories a billion times, and then it got some kick. I want to say six months ago on TikTok, somebody must have like brought it up and it like got kicked back up again. The author passed away last year. That's what I heard. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. I think it was cancer. Or I don't know what don't it remember. was, but it's sad. Um, is the series complete? Yeah. Okay. The series is complete. And the series that we're talking about, of course, is Mindfuck by S. T. Abby. Amazing name. Say it faster. It's Stabby. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> it's great. The yeah. first book in the series, what is it called? The Risk. The Risk. The risk. Okay, because I was only 130 pages, which is amazing. That made this whole thing a lot easier for is me. Is it only 130? To, to read I thought it. it was 100. It's short. It's very short. It's short just, as fuck. Well, on my Kindle, it's at 130. Yeah, I have 130. Okay, great. Um, so it's short. So I each of them are very very short mm -hmm. i did not know the author died that fucking sucks yeah 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 damn Sad. um so did it it's complete did yeah you say that? yeah i have always described this series as a combination between criminal minds mm. and dexter okay yes i haven't watched either so yes okay so dexter is a serial killer he only kills other serial killers oh yeah and he's like a blood sp splatter an analyst mm -hmm. for like the FBI or whatever. Interesting. Okay. So like you would love Dexter. I'm, I'm sure I would. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure I would. Well, Listen, I think it was on the end of Showtime. Terrible. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have Showtime. Fair. So a lot of shows. That's that. a show that you would love. Dexter is sure. very interesting because it's one of the shows. It's one of the shows in my like mind that's the worst ending show I've ever watched. Isn't it that's getting rebooted? Yeah. yeah, but. The season four finale is probably one of the best twists on television. Wow. Interesting. So okay. it's like you win some, you lose some with that it's like series. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, and Criminal Minds is just like. You you watch Criminal Minds, I imagine. What? <laughs> it's another one that you would so love. So those kind of shows that are sort of like the um, CSI, SVU, SVU yeah. like the w weekly kind of serials like that, I don't care for. I think Criminal Minds you would like, though. I think I've watched a couple random episodes of those yeah. like back in the day when I had cable. 
uh, and they would pop up. But I'm with it's you, just not one of those that I gravitate towards. I gravitate towards the ones that are like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a TV network series compared to like a true, just a series built by itself by a company. Yeah. You know? I, feel like- I think it's like one of the, like... It's one of those things where it's like if you like the characters, then you'll like be fine watching it week to week because it's like I don't even watch it week to week. I just like my mom, my parents love the show, so I always fucking watch it. But they basically Criminal Minds, if you haven't watched the show, is is an FBI like um, they're serial killer investigators. So they look at like the patterns of serial killers Mm -hmm, and they try mm -hmm. to like get it would be right up my alley. They solve crimes based off of like behavioral patterns, not necessarily like what's happening. In that case, it kind of reminds me of a network TV version of um, oh Mind Hunter. Mind Hunter. Yeah. And it's called Mindfuck, which, by the way, I, when I looked up Mindfuck, so many options came up. That was why I was asking you guys what the first um, uh, book name. So The Risk is the, the book risk. that we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, the um, series is Mindfuck. So as far as the genre goes, I would say thriller, romance, mm-hmm. suspense. I would say so, right? yeah. It's suspenseful. It's thriller-ish. I think it's a suspenseful romance. And I'll kick this off by saying I really fucking like this book. I did. I'm not going to lie. I gave it 4.5 stars. It was a good read. Maybe I just love short books, but uh, it was fun. I, I was, gave it four stars as well. It was a page turner. There are some things that we'll get into, but uh, I really enjoyed it. So, Erica, do you want to do the 60 seconds for this one since you recommended it? I don't even know if we'll need 60 seconds because it's not really like... <laughs> short. You nah. say that. Here's the thing, though. There is quite a bit going on you think like 130 pages you're like oh you're not even getting any substance there's a lot going on and you do get a lot of plot out of this like it's very good well i am just gonna forewarn everyone that you're probably gonna be disappointed by 60 seconds i mean <laughs> it's a warning we all know it's, it's an erica 60 second uh, that's why we love it if you're new to this podcast we do this thing here where we attempt to explain the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less this week erica is gonna do the first book in the mindfuck series by st abby uh, are you ready I don't care. Here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Uh, fuck, I don't even don't remember. Read. Don't I don't read re- it. I don't remember her first name. Lana. Lana. Her name's Lana. <laughs> Lana and Logan? Lana yes. and Logan. Okay, Lana, Lana has a really fucked up past, and you don't really know what happened to her, but she alludes to it a lot, and you kind of find out that... She, do you find out that she's this No. Oh. You, she's Wait, we know killer? she's yes. a you find out she's the serial killer. In yeah, the first we, book. Okay, we know so. she's tough. How she she kills him. She's she goes through her kills. I'm pretty sure in this book. I don't yes. remember. God, I didn't want to fucking spoil everything. <laughs> Thirty seconds. <laughs> so she's killing somebody, and then I think the police officer on the scene. They like meet somehow, or like they cross paths in some way. I don't I'm remember. Not even look at you. First I'm not even looking at you. Page of the I don't book. remember okay. how I'm it happens. Not even Whatever. At you. Fifteen they, seconds. <laughs> They meet, he really likes her, and he, like, goes after her pretty much the entire book, which is 130 pages, and he's like, I really want to date this girl, and she's like, I can't date you, because you're seconds. a fucking cop, and I'm How a serial did, killer. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's the whole book. No, it's not. That was bad. I don't think you got it right. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't want to spoil. Okay, I know. It's hard, because she's read the whole series in a, in a sitting. First so of like, all, they met. On the first fucking page of the book. Did they? First well, no. three pages. So what I guess. happened was his friend Let's kick this off. How does this book start, Maria? Book Maria's start- gonna walk <laughs> us through this and save whatever the fuck that just was. Whatever just happened, take it from your mind and throw is it out the not, window. Is that not what happened? I don't even know what you said, to be honest with you. I can follow <laughs> that she's a serial killer, meets a cop, he go he chases yes. after her. Good job. He's an FBI agent. That was Different much better. Than a cop. FBI agent. Um, He's so investigating the murders that he, she causes. And she others. causes. All right, so, kick okay. us off, Maria. They meet at we a... We need names, though. Okay, Logan is our FBI agent. Craig is this guy who goes over to our girl, Lana, and basically is just like, hey, you should come up with me. Yeah, Lana's like minding me. her own business in the first page. She's just eating. She's just well, where eating are they? At a restaurant, I believe. Or a, a cafe. Oh, yeah, oh, cafe. Right, right, They're right. at a cafe. And um, he's just like, nah. I, she's like, nah, I'm not into you. Like, please get over yourself. He goes, what do you mean? My charm. Like, I'm just perfect. Like, yeah, it was real weird. So as she's going to her car, um, she had locked eyes with his friend, Logan. Logan comes over and sort of, like, gives him his number. And kind of they have a like, little, little chemistry moment. Well, their banter is literally, like, Logan come, is watching her the entire time. Yeah. 
and profiling her and this is from the perspective of lana lana the entire time is profiling him so she's like i bet he's or, or he's got not as nice of a suit as his buddy as craig they must have the same job but he's not as important as that guy like she's going through this whole thing in her mm-hmm. head which is like mm-hmm. why the fuck is she doing that and then they I need to do that interesting. you don't do that out in the world no sometimes but not to the extent of these two well i'm not a serial killer yeah, so yeah. yeah yeah it was no it was cool i i was like this is weird but it's cool and then when they meet at the car would you prefer her being like mm, his pecs and his butt off like, no i'm so attracted to but him. that's what the romance part at yeah. what point did i say i didn't like it i just said it was weird how much she was like how deep okay. she was getting okay okay Go for it. Go for okay it. so they get to the car and logan is like uh, this is when i think it was weird because they started doing it like out loud to each other i would never yeah. like go maybe in my head yeah but i would never but go remember, up to a dude at, we need 130 pages to get things i get going, it so. i get it i get it i get it <laughs> yeah. but i would never like it, in real life would you go up to somebody and be like i know you have a whole steak preference but in real life at the date would you be like wow you got your steak medium rare that must mean that you don't fold your laundry at night and, and that's probably the biggest I, red flags if a guy did that to me I'd be i don't like, think You're i done. wouldn't i don't if, if the if it went that way i think I, I would probably do that that deep probably erica would never in my life would i be like you got corn on this as a side you must like the way you shit later like i don't know my, it's weird I, my like my pull <laughs> my pull in dating is is like my communication and like our conversation so like i would do that guy would be really interested because he'd be like nobody ever fucking does this or he'd be like you're or weird you're a fucking weirdo <laughs> yeah. it's weird to me. like uh, it's totally normal to like ask questions and like you know start to like get to know somebody it's weird to like go to a stranger and say i noticed you did this thing i think this how must it be why. started is a little weird but i don't think the conversation in general is weird i did but that's okay so we are focusing a lot on this conversation anyway they talk and logan's like i'm into this girl she's like i'm kind of into him meanwhile lana's a fucking serial killer Mm -hmm. is the next chapter when we get into like her i think she's killing someone Mm -hmm. in the next chapter yeah so the next chapter we get into like you don't know who who and why she's killing all these people but i just love how she does it because she's so like so she also has a partner i liked how she uh approached her murders because you could you can tell she thinks a lot i'm cutting that out and putting it everywhere i like how she approached her murders (laughs) (laughs) you hear it here first shut up go on she's a partner named jake and so through with him she finds out where these guys are these guys who she's going after what we find out later is that she and her brother were attacked as um young teens i think her brother dies and th- and she was meant to die but i think she was raped too yeah yes yeah um and she decides to get revenge so at chapter two i believe we go to one of her murders and she is putting on these heavy ass boots this is cool as fuck steel-toed boots that are bigger size than her right mm-hmm. a heavy backpack with bricks in it with bricks in it and uses that to walk up to the house so that the footsteps show true weight and tro- show a gait that she doesn't have so like, like a limp yeah. yeah so good And she does not attack using weapons she only will like wait for them in like will slash their leg or something using a knife which so reminds that- me of kill bill yeah when, when she's like the little back tendon the yes. achilles heel oh, thing oh god that makes Shit me want to mom but then, so good but then she that the reason she does that is because it seems like she's overpowering the men so yes. now now that these tracks are there the way she kills them it it's being profiled as a man that is doing like a bigger man an impotent man yeah an impotent man because she does cut off their dicks is um killing these other men so mm-hmm. that's why she does mm-hmm. it to get the police off her back meanwhile logan who she had met at the cafe and is starting to like really like is an fbi agent who <laughs> is investigating this series of murders of course <laughs> investigating others. serial killers and he's also investigating others along with the one that she's doing too yeah so we we follow his um his stories and where he, the 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 how do you say it investigation he's doing and the clues he's looking through yeah for certain other serial killers in the country yeah. so this is why it's like kind of like dexter because like that same aspect of like he's a serial killer but he's also like really close ties to the fbi he's like he knows it what's gives me mind hunter vibes i've never seen that i don't think i've seen it it's good. all of it i would watch that mind hunter is basically um it's following these two guys at the beginning of um the criminal 
uh, behavior unit thing where like the term serial killer first started mm-hmm. and it's these two men who go to different uh, police stations throughout the country to teach what a serial killer is oh. and profiling and helping profile with serial killers. Meanwhile, they're also um, interviewing serial killers that have been caught to sort of try to figure out what their mind works like. So do you feel like serial killers, are they doing it for the thrill? Are they depends doing on it? the person, depends on their life, and depends on the gender, too. I wonder how many serial killers have gotten away with being a serial killer. A kill. lot. So many. Like there's Especially probably... in the 70s and the golden hour, or yeah. not golden hour, golden um, era of yes. serial killers. Yes. There so 70s, many. there must have been so many. I mean, it's I a lot harder I think they say now. there's like over 100 active serial killers in the United States yeah. currently. Yeah. I mean, think about like way, way back in the day too. Like mm-hmm. they probably didn't even also, know they were serial killers. So like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, I, I, it's a different situation. But like people who are in gangs, like you are technically a serial killer if you're killing mm-hmm. people. If yeah. you're killing people, yeah. If you're like, I think, I mean, what's the definition of a serial killer? If you've killed three or more, yeah, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but like they don't, they don't really classify them as serial killers because it's not the same like motives well that's what i'm saying like what what is the motive gang violence versus like actual true violence are kind of different like what's the motive of a serial killer (sighs) it depends on the serial killer most of it most of it's like power trauma trauma Mm -hmm. a sexual release thing Mm -hmm. a lot of at least for males i mean they're all psychopaths oh that was my other question like how many women serial killers are there out there not often i would be i'm too much of a pussy to be a serial killer that's for sure I would need a lot. <laughs> Maria, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm telling you, like, if we're looking at her, her, um, her life yeah, and what yeah, happened yeah. to her, she has a lot of rage. She doesn't care if she gets locked up. I think uh, no, she wants she to finish her goal. Of, she's cocky. She's she wants like, to I'm not going to get caught. No, she wants to finish her goal, but I don't think she cares if she gets locked up. I don't know if no, she, she has a death wish. Yeah. Does she? Yeah. I, I haven't gotten that far in the series. I could just, I feel it. Like, she's I could a death tell. Wish. Yeah. I think, again, she has a lot but of But she rage. wants to finish. She, she has does to her finish. thing. Yeah. But yeah, she is cocky and she doesn't think that she'll get caught. She thinks she's, she's outsmarted them. She's like, them. I've done everything like by the book in a way. I can, I'm, I've handled this in a way where no one's going to catch me. Jake right. kind of like reels her back in a lot and is like. Especially when she starts dating Logan. Mm-hmm. She's like, he's an FBI agent. What are you doing? Yeah. You can't her, let him get too close to this. So her whole goal is to finish the list, which the list is like all the people that fucked her up in the, the past. The men who hurt her. We only get alluded to it in this book that she you was find hurt. find out more later. That's yeah. what I, I was wondering if we would. Like, to me, this is what it feels like. And I might be wrong. It feels like a church, situ- a church situation. I don't know if this is correct at all, but this is what I pictured that like they were either in a cult or a church mm. and the altar boys or because it's uh, so far it's been all men mm-hmm. attacked them and raped her and did whatever. No, That's I believe, the vibe I, believe, I got. I believe, I believe her father yeah. hurt somebody. Oh. I think her father has raped someone and done something bad. Oh, that's right. They did mention They mentioned about her father and then they took their revenge <sighs> on her and her brother. That makes a lot more sense. And so, because there's a line where she's like, I can't help that I, I love my dad still. You know? Yeah. Maria's more on track. Okay. But That's what I think it was. Maybe her it's, dad's a serial killer. That'd be... To be honest with you... A family business. I, I don't know if she should be part I of. I didn't see it coming. Oh. Like you, like that, like you're like that's Cause not that's, wrong because the, the way the dialogue, but is, the, way the way she said right, it, it right. just makes it more. It makes more sense that it was they attacked her for something else. You're right. The what ends up happening in the last book, you're like, okay, <laughs> was an all right, how many then? books? Okay. How many books are there? Five, five books. But okay. they're all like a hundred pages, so it's basically a five hundred page book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, you're probably wondering, does Logan start to figure out that it's her in the first book? No, no, not at all. So he he, no. he asks for he one of know. his friends at the um, FBI to do a background check on her. Yes, just a, a basic background check, and nothing comes back because Lana had basically taken the identity of someone who died at birth. This part confused the fuck out of me because there's a car accident and this other thing. Can you explain to me what? So I think a baby died, right? Wasn't a yeah. baby died? A baby died, and so she took. I think Jake helped her take this identity. Okay like the social and everything and put it towards lana and lana has now has this identity okay i had this conversation with garrett yesterday and i think it's a really really fucking interesting conversation oh okay if you were to fake your own death Mm. how would i do it how would you do it well first first and foremost like you and no go Mm. ahead go ahead how would you do it okay are we talking long game or a short game long game long game you wanna you wanna like wake up tomorrow and leave and start a new life but you don't want anybody to know 
So but I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, do I have time to plan for this? Yeah, you have a whole, you have I have, a whole life I, to plan I, for. It. I have to be dead. I can't just be missing. You could be missing. Okay. okay. I no, would, you have I to be. Would, you have to be presumed dead. Okay. Yeah. I would start. This is because you could just my head. This is bad. It's coming so fast. Yeah. Um, I would start a new hobby. Okay. Of mountain climbing. Okay. Going out in the woods. Like oh, a friend of you mine are does. Going to my tactics. So I would. Mm. I, all of a sudden, every month I'm out there. I'm going on a hike by yourself. Oh yeah, I love it. It clears my mind. Okay. Every time I'm always going, but for a while I'm giving everybody these like I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm going here. Everybody knows. Oh my God, Maria is now hiking a lot. Wow, good for her. <laughs> One day I, I don't come back. Okay. I don't. Someone has to take care of Zena, so I have to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she'll be at my parents' house. So and I will just fall okay leave something on a cliff okay fall the phone goes and i don't actually fall here's here's leave. my follow-up go ahead no, let go, Erica no, 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 hold, on, hold on you go missing uh-huh i'm the first one that's like maria she said she was going hiking i know where we need to go check this out yeah we you're the park there. ranger at that time we get there is your car there the car would be at the bottom of the okay of the so your car's still there yeah is your wallet inside your car yeah i can't carry all my my stuff okay your keys they're with you i'm assuming they're with the car okay why would you leave your keys in the car That's no weird. i no. you know what i would leave it on the cliff i fall okay you're magically on the cliff no like, your phone it, it falls your phone i'm i'm showing it as if i fall off the cliff okay where's your so phone so i'm throwing it okay where's down your the phone? cliff scattering so your phone's gone yeah okay what are you doing now as a person who doesn't have your phone your wallet you can get your a burner car phone. you can get a burner phone you can get it okay have you seen people who are like okay. i live off of a scent that's great guess what they we could track now your purchases you use cash why didn't maria take out all this cash before she left how are you getting a new id why would where it, are you going okay. are you walking to an airport are you i think about this shit till i can't sleep at i night. think i don't know why you're thinking about it so much are you trying to leave us i thought about it a few times so <laughs> there's a I would, you could easily go and find like a place in the remote woods and just live just live off of the woods naked and afraid with what you have nothing i can get stuff what are you getting? Steal? It would. You would have to. You, you would, would have be to be found. planning. You'd have to be planning for this for like at least yeah. a year. So you I'd don't even be stockpiling year, cash. In that year, I'd be stockpiling cash. That's fucking suspicious. I no, would know that. Not if you who? like take out. You if you regularly dumb. take out money or like randomly, like hundred dollars here or there, or whatever. Yeah. Nobody's gonna know. This is what that. I told Garrett. If either of you two went missing, you could easily find me. I promise you, I know there are people in your life, including me, that would go to fucking hell on earth to try to find you. Yeah. And I would. Yeah. And I would appreciate you for that. I would. My so, parents would lose their minds. Have you ever. If I go there's, a sh- there's a show. Oh, fuck. I don't think it's on Netflix. I think it was on like cable television. And it was like um, you had to evade the FBI for, I think, like three days or something like that lose that or seven days or whatever they're too good and you you basically like they would come to your door and they'd be like you're like time like time to go right and you would you'd have like your bag or whatever and you'd have to evade the fbi for x amount of days and you'd win x amount of money Hmm. i couldn't do it almost everyone lost yeah it's not easy it's it's so impossible between like the street the street cameras (sighs) street cameras your phone hitting up people that's what I'm saying. like yeah that, that's what i'm saying I'm, i'd be and in the, the one woods, guy the, the one guy way. that did it he ended up like living on a farm somewhere in the middle yeah. of nowhere but, it's but like, it was so hard to get there or it's like, like okay a trip right? okay you i'm be, gonna go hike my machu picchu and i get lost over there you're gonna go live in the fucking maria is gonna go live in the amazon or wherever that you think you can get away with this where no planes would go and see you having fire i would try shit. to f- i would fly somewhere that's more remote than us like a like how are you flying without people knowing i can just do a trip i can just be like hey i'm going going on a trip trip. okay i've been hiking for a year i'm going on a trip why are we focused on the story so much (laughs) because it's fascinating it really is i'd I'd go go somewhere i gotta tell you what garrett's was because i think it's ridiculous wait i'm gonna i still have yeah erica has okay okay go ahead go ahead honestly i think i would i would do the boat i would do a boat situation Ooh, a boat's a good one okay because so you would take somebody else's boat yeah, no i would i would like be like oh i'm going on a boat like excursion or something and it would be like a smaller boat situate like down in miami or some shit mm. so what boat would you actually get on i don't know somebody's semantics like, a boat somebody's boat i mean this is really important the semantics and then okay. they would take me off to cuba so you you have no ties with the person that is bringing no you. it would be like a random guy that i would pay like a thousand dollars day of 
day of. So that then you'd say, don't say anything. Nobody can. No, know where I, I am. wouldn't tell him anything. So do you have your phone, your wallet, your keys, your well, not your keys, but do you have your phone and your wallet? I'd probably, your I'd probably drug him. <laughs> she got drugs then, now. Yeah. So you would drug him, leave him on the boat, leave him on the leave boat. On How the are boat. you getting into Cuba without your passport? Like every other illegal immigrant. Oh, that's easy <laughs> to do. <laughs> Fucking not. swim. All of your oh shit's God. flawed. All of it. I don't know. How else are you You're really asking. Planned? She's saying maybe. She I hasn't think, thought of this. I think we would have to. So I would do a boat situation. It would have to be a way for people to like think and like know that you're dead. Right? Like it'd have to be. No, the, e- the I, missing it part. It couldn't be an accident. It would have to be like what I would do. The I hardest, think mine's the most solid. The real, the only thing you could really Can't do you this. is, is be presumed missing and wait the three years until they like presume you dead. I just think those three years are going to be really fucking difficult. So what's yours? Mine's actually not that good either because it's the after. <laughs> what I would do is I would drive into the mountains. Yeah. I would leave my car, my phone, everything in my car. I would leave a note that said, I'm sorry, please don't look for me. Ooh. That's it. You're going to hurt someone telling them you killed yourself? Yeah. And I then, and then everybody like would assume I was dead. Well, I'm just saying, if you wanted to figure on death, that's how I would do it. But, but then afterwards, where am I going? I have nothing. That's my point. Here's Garrett's. He said he would get, be a, get bodies like that would re- resembled him and his husband and he burn would them. burn them in the house. And I was like, okay, teeth, like, yeah, uh, literally all where these Where are they getting things? bodies from? <laughs> that's a federal crime. A morgue. I mean, if you're faking your own death, what do you care about crime? You're Faking your own death isn't like as bad as going to grab cadavers. I'm just saying. Garrett, I don't think anybody could do it. I don't. Bet? <laughs> I don't want to bet on it. All I'm right. good. Faking your own death. Hmm. This is not what this book is about. <laughs> the point is, it's really we fucking. Went on such a tangent. The, the point that I'm making is it's really fucking hard to get away with being a serial killer in this day and age yes and he is li- there are clues they're solving cold cases right now 30 year old cold cases through G- DNA. i know i know through through fucking ancestry.com that's what i'm saying it's so hard that's how the golden state killer got caught there's a yeah. fucking group of people on youtube adventures with purpose and they literally go they've they've solved 30 year old cold cases jesus christ they just go <laughs> they go scuba diving and find um like cars that have the bodies in them and stuff so it's like you can't get away with this shit now no in the, the i've said this before you cannot do serial killing now and be successful at it but what bothers me about the book is he goes to her house where there's a murder room it's he's upstairs an, he's an fbi agent who profiles her and looks at every single little thing that she does and he sucks at it and he and he goes <laughs> to he her house. Yeah, he's are. really good at his job he's like the best at his job this is the part that bothered me he's the best at his job he's the best at what he does he profiles everything and he goes to a serial killer's house and he can't fucking figure it out i don't i don't think she displays any attributes no. of a serial killer she had a few times left like she got like lazy with it at that one time that he came she had blood on her finger well no he showed up and then she had just gotten back from yes. killing these two guys she had somebody else she had blood. blood on her hair and she was like my friend got cut which, which like, is like no <laughs> that's the one part i was like there's no way that makes sense but okay i'll let you i'll let you slide i'm just saying like i don't i really liked this book i liked um i liked her personality i liked her sass uh i liked him i thought he was fun too yeah. the thing that like didn't sit with me was some of the dialogue yes a thousand and I, percent i would yes. like to mention one Wait, before you, how did it end it ended with um logan's co-worker showing up to her door saying you want to tell me why you have uh a dead girl's identity yeah and it just ends cliffhanger yeah good that's shit. how it ended good so shit. for for me romance books like contemporary romances mm-hmm. i i complain about dialogue all the time yeah like a lot a lot yeah but for me rom like a contemporary romance the the uh, the reason i'm reading this book is for the relationship yeah right like that is the main purpose of that book oh yeah. so when i'm reading a book like this the the romance is a secondary storyline mm-hmm. for me which is why i liked it which mm-hmm. is why i don't care as much about the dialogue where well, my it, like, dialogue cringy matter. yeah we're like it's cringy it, like i it's like all right it's cringy but i'm it takes I'm, me out of the story though. Yeah. i'm reading this for a different reason i guess so yeah, it's not as it's important still, to me it's still because the dialogue in this case this one line made me bring it down to a I four know you're talking about. um <laughs> in this case the dialogue is supposed to push this story along for this moment yeah and so that matters to me so basically she's killing this dude lawrence and he looks at her and she's he doesn't recognize her and she's saying lines to him of what he said to her when he was like assaulting her and 
you know, beating the crap out of her, whatever. So she gives him those lines. Now he's he's figuring it out. He's like, you're supposed to be dead. Like they all say. Yeah. And she goes, well, you should have killed me deader. I, that one, I didn't bother me. That pissed me off. Did it? I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I think like that's actually like a line in a couple movies. Deader? Is that even like a yeah. word? I don't like how that that's came actually, out. I think that's like a common phrase. Like, well, you should have killed me deader. No, you should just like, you should have confirmed the kill. <laughs> you know? Like, it's just like. <laughs> that's way more I weird. I don't like how deader sounds. It just sounds like a, like a child. It's like, you should have made sure I was deader. Yeah. You know? It's I, just, I definitely heard it before, It didn't. Though. It didn't. It didn't hit with Why me. Why have I heard it before? It's, uh, uh, Is it a line in a movie? That's different. You should have killed him when you had the chance. So that's perfect. No, that's a good line. That, not that. I feel like that wasn't even the 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 line that bothered me. It was when they were doing the little banter in the beginning, and Craig was trying to hit on Lana, and she was not Deader into it. Is a word though. Yeah, I know, but in just in this sentence. But like he was, she wasn't into it, and then he was like something about like sucking his dick or something, and she was like, no, and he goes, that's fine. I don't want frostbite on my dick anyway. Oh yeah, because she has a cold shoulder. Yeah. What? But that's a great example of how men are when you nobody when would you reject say them, that no they would just be like fuck you then bitch and leave i don't know i agree with maria a lot of the dialogue was cringy and that was what made it it took me out of the book at times but there were some of them that i liked like this one um at 98 percent, even a monster has nightmares i'll be his love mm. that that's good the killing but scenes the, were the best yes in this whole she book she did really really well so with good. some of these oh hi zita <laughs> She's just looking for some love. I'm like, oh my god, Zena's my heart. Like, Auntie Kristen, Zena just jumped up on me, and I wasn't. If you're watching us on YouTube, you could see hey, the fact that I almost just died. Who are you talking? Come here. Scared Come the here. shit out of me. This book was good. I'm excited to read book two. I am gonna read book two. I hate the covers. I wish the covers were better. Because now that you said the ending is a little bit of a surprise, like I really want to know. Or the twist. I will yeah. say. I will say. When does he start to get? Don't read that blog. No, I don't want to know. Don't, don't read, read that blog of this book. Really? Yeah. Why? really yeah it's not good. I, would, I would say don't read that blog part of me feels like he's gonna accept that she's a serial killer I, I hope i hope he has to it, cover the, up her the stuff end, yeah. the end of the series like the the epilogues the end of the series is great right like yeah it's the epilogue that kind of i was like mm. ah mm. i don't read epilogues anyway so but i you don't read I think if, if you either. didn't read the epilogue you're not missing anything because the book wraps up completely oh, oh. okay great it's it's like five years it's like seven years later type situation uh, okay so you're just like oh you don't need you don't it. need it okay all right Great. cool so if you do read this book i highly recommend not reading that blog or if you do read that blog know that it will ruin it for you of the fifth book not, yes yeah all right cool um that's oh, that's really it erica summed it up like it's very quick it's 130 pages honestly you could just go read it very quickly and the whole series is is like their relationship her kills you find out more about her like what happened cool. and in the last book it's kind of like the whole crescendo crescendo of all of these things and you you truly kind of understand what her end game was yeah. in the end and she's also awesome. helped uh, there are other parts of the book that i liked where she helped logan sort of do his um investigations yeah he like just she thinks came she's over, just like smart yeah. yeah she came over his house and saw a bunch of like pictures on the table he's like oh i'm so sorry i should have gotten rid of those like you shouldn't be seeing these and she's like oh i think it's a janitor yeah yeah, yeah that was a little and ridiculous I, I, looked at you, I was thinking about you so i was like kristen would not appreciate it they're bad yeah. mouthing a janitor. i don't know she why we keep on... reading these books that hate on janitors like let's stop that well this janitor was a killer i know he was but the killer it, it was just so ridiculous how she looked at one picture and she was like oh that's definitely a janitor like well, shut she, the fuck no, up no 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 what up. she did was she looked at a it series was not of janitor pictures. hate it was just it was like just a, a i'm not talking about janitor was the one that killed he has been spending how many years i mean it's a cold case he's been sending no it was like a recent case okay but he's been spending all his time looking at these pictures and doing all this investigation he's the best fbi agent of all time and she walks into his living room looks down and says oh it's a janitor like shut the fuck up yeah but also he did another one where she, he, she sees he was it like oh he's using their heads and sculptures she sees it differently you don't think a bajillion fbi agents are looking at these pictures who are trained to fucking no no they're nope. not serial killers though no literally no so that's mind fuck erica do you have any other recommendations in this realm so okay a lot of people have a lot of people read this book based off of my rec our initial recommendation which came from a follower um and everyone who has read it 
messaged back and was like, I need another book series like this. Nice. And I have, it, I think it's been almost a year and I have yet to find another series that even comes wow. close to what this book is. Okay, so I don't know if this series is good um, that I'm starting to read, but it's under like readers who like this also like this. Um, and I've started it, but it also has serial killers. So I've started a book called There Are No Saints by Sophie Lark. Okay. And uh, this is about um, these two serial killers who are sort of like feuding. And they're also artists at the same time. So they're like one's a sculptor, one's a painter. And they both they are both serial killers. One of them only kills like co-eds and like, you know, women. And he's sort of like the dick. The other guy kills, I believe, men just because he likes to overpower them. Mm. But because this guy saw a girl at one of their um expeditions or not expeditions what the fuck is it <laughs> um one of their art shows hi baby at one of exhibits. their art sh- exhibits yeah. that's the one um the other serial killer thinks that this serial killer likes that girl so he uh, goes and attacks her tries to kill her and that's how it becomes like a, a romance story with two serial killers after one girl Jeez, Louise. So I, again, I haven't finished it. I'm only like 15 percent in, so I don't have much to give you. But I hear it's good. That's it has what, a 3.87. What I usually do when it comes to books in general, um, and this is how I kind of like aggregate some of my books that I read, is like let's say I'm on the Goodreads profile of like Mindfuck series. They're usually like lists that this book is on, and I click through those lists. That's very smart. Because I people like are, the lists, that's like they're Spotify. not great. I do that. The on Spotify. lists on Goodreads are terrible, and I oh, get really lists upset are not at them. great. But they give you an idea of like at least like Where to go if through. you're really really lost and you have no fucking clue. Yeah. And let's say you've read all the books that it like recommends with this book, look through the list and like see if there's anything that's of interest to you. That's like that. That's like my last stop like situation. Mm-hmm. I usually go on Facebook. I go on Instagram. I do a lot of other things you before do I do lot. the list. I just yeah. I just quit. <laughs> but the lists are a another resource for you at least if you're really like desperate for something i think the i think the list that's attached to the mindfuck one i haven't read any of these books but i'm not really like super into dark like oh you is a good um oh yeah yeah that's a good one yeah i just like i don't i don't know i don't usually like these types of things i think it was just i love serial you. killer yeah he was d- one of my favorites i do want to kind of watch that actually i didn't I didn't I'm, like it as much. The show, as I think the show it goes down a different path yeah. than the books do, but I really enjoyed the book. And I yeah. enjoyed the audiobook specifically. And I oh, mentioned cool. this before because the guy who does the voice is the guy who plays one of the actors in Frozen. Nice. And it's just, it's written in second person. Mm. So he. Second person? Yeah. So instead of. Um, like he you went are there, going here. Yes. And it's, oh, for, it's very much know. like you walked. That's why it makes it creepier. It's like you walked into the store today. You were wearing a pink dress and you were like, you know, like that. It's eee. so fucked up. But it's so. Well, I loved it. It's so good. The second Imagine book, erotica mm. in that. I mean, it's not erotica. No, I said imagine an erotica in second person. That'd be <sighs> wild. All right, on I'm that sure note. I'm sure it exists. I'm sure it exists. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Um, if you want to be more involved in the Books and Betches crew, head on over to our Instagram account. That's books underscore N underscore Betches, B-E-T-C-H-E-S. Follow us on Instagram there and click our link tree and you'll find our Discord, our Patreon, where we post all different types of things, outtakes, a whole fucking episode. We have a book club. So go check out our Patreon and uh, we don't have a Twitter and we never will. So thank you so much for for everything. We don't know how to book Twitter. Hopefully you're watching this on YouTube. If you're not, do that too. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Booktube. That's it. We're not on Booktube either. We were. I did a couple yeah, videos. Are. Technically, we are on Booktube. We no. post our podcast is technically Booktube. No. We're not Booktubers. We talk it's about not, books. It's not a Booktube. booktube. I don't know how people have booktube the is fucking different. time to do what they do on Booktube. Because it's their only booktube. job, bro. Some I don't of them think so. Some of them. A no, lot a lot of them. them. A lot of the bigger Booktubers. That's their only job. That's the fucking dream, brother. All right, like Kayla. Oh, I, I don't. I, so I cool. on, honestly like. I, I don't even edit these. I don't edit the podcast at all. If you guys don't know that, <laughs> and but you run the socials and that's big. Yeah. The socials are are a large task and they they're it's very exhausting trying to like keep up with the amount of shit. I appreciate you, but because it's like a daily type situation. But I when I record the like the um what's Videos. it called the the reels, it's like what max a minute 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Of looking at my own fucking face. Yeah. If I did anything more than that, it's way too much. I did yeah. a couple of booktube videos back when we were first opening and our I YouTube. And I hated editing them because I, I was like, I don't want to look at my be, fucking face anymore. But no, but they have to be like punch, like now to fit, to be on booktube. Like everything. You have to edit every yeah. four seconds. And I can't, I have no time or desire to do that when I edit all day for my job. But I don't job. understand how these people do <laughs> oh my God. these all these yeah, edits all the She's time. So I also um and you have to you have to know how to record it so that you can make the edit that is like listen I know I've edited it <laughs> all right well that's it that's a wrap all Sorry, right guys it's Thank the first you. one we record it's always um, a mess the next three that we're doing so if you want to get ahead and start reading and be involved we have creature cafe number four coming up little shock of hate not necessarily in this order yes little shock of hate we have um <laughs> breaking dawn part two <laughs> talking about the movie maria will bring the insights of the, the book. book and what's the last one called uh the time that time i got drunk and saved the demon good stuff so be it's sure a little, also a little novella so a lot of little short books um yeah. this month yeah you'll be able to to for next week <laughs> to be involved the theme of 2022 has been short books and we're gonna keep it Dude, that way. i'm at 41 uh, books read nice for nice. the year and my goal is 65 all right let's keep it going. i'm i feel so proud like we're good reads like it. you're 10 books ahead i'm like yeah i am Hell bitch yeah. all right thank you everybody have a great day Bye. Bye. goodbye <laughs>